Welcome to Python 3 Beginner 4 Selection. Every video will have all slideshows and code available in the description. Selection is the second main concept that makes up a program. We have already learnt the first, which is sequence. Sequence represents the program executing line after line. Selection is the concept of choices, allowing the program to decide based on a Boolean expression whether to execute a certain block of code or to not. In Python, this is through the use of the if statement. If you have learnt any other languages, you will have also heard of the switch or case statement. Python does not have this. It is important to notice that Python uses the indents to decide when code is inside of an if statement. This could be a single space, however I suggest a one tab width of 4. Let's write our first if statement. Now like the last tutorial, let's create a Python file. This will help us better understand the concept of selection. So let's call this file toot4.py and open it in your text editor. Okay, so I'm going to come across to Ubuntu here and vim toot4.py. Okay, now I'm going to set up my tab width. So I'm going to go colon set space tab stop equals whoop, equals 4. And that will set my tab width. Now, like before, we press A to get into our insert mode. And let's start writing some code. So let's create a variable called num and make it equal an int of the input from the user. And let's ask them, please enter a number, colon, close quote, close bracket, close bracket. Okay, now let's write our if statement. So let's write if our variable num is equal to, so we use two equals so to represent is equal to, and then we'll put the value zero, then to let our if statement know that if this is true, we're going to execute a block of code, we're going to press the colon, and we're going to go down a line. Now once we go down the line, we want to indent one. So as you can see, we've been indented from the left hand side of the screen. Now we're going to print out a string. So we're going to print out the number is zero, close quotes, close brackets. Now we're going to press enter again, go down to the next line, and we'll go down a couple of lines, and we're going to stay back on the left hand side. We're done with our if statement. Now we're just going to print out number, num, just to see what it is, just in case we have a problem. So let's press escape, colon, wq for write quit, and we're going to save that. Okay, now let's try running it. So python3 toot4.py. Now we see, please enter a number. So let's put it in 5. And as you see, we get the output 5. Because we're checking to see if the input that the person inputs is 0, not 5. So let's run it again. This time let's put in 0. So we get the number is 0. And this is because our if statement once it sees that num is 0 and it is equal to the number 0 which we hard coded in, it outputs the number 0. Okay. The common comparison operators that we use for Boolean expressions is the equals to sign, so equals equals, the not equals to, which is exclamation mark equals, greater than, which is the greater than symbol, the less than, which is the less than symbol, so the left hand side is less than the right hand side, the greater than or equal to operator, which is either equal to the value or greater, or less than equal to operator, which is less than and then the equal sign. So let's try some of these out. Let's edit our script to a not equals to instead of an equals to. So let's open back up our script again and A for edit and we're going to change this to an exclamation mark equals. So if num is not equal to zero, then we're going to change our print statement to the number is not zero. Okay, so let's save this again. So exit, right quit. And now let's try running it again. And if we enter in five again, we get the number is not zero. And if we run it again and we put in zero, we get just zero out. Okay. 
So let's try the greater than operator. So let's go back in and edit, a, edit it again. And let's change this to number is greater than zero. And then we'll change our print statement to the number is greater than zero. And we'll save this again. So escape colon right quit. Now let's try running it. So we put in five again, we get the number is greater than zero. And if we run it again and we put in a zero, we get the num number zero just outputted. It doesn't tell us anything. Okay. So while this is good, we can also use the else clause to have another block of code execute if the first if fails. So let's add our add to our current code an else statement. So what we'll do is if the number is greater than zero, we're going to print out the number is greater than zero. Else, we're going to print out the number is zero or less. Okay. Okay, so come back over to Ubuntu here, and we're going to edit our file. Now we're going to use the else statement. So we're going to go down a line after our if statement and our print, and we're going to do else. And then we're going to put another colon at the end of the else to let it, let it know that we're going to indent one. So we indent, and this time we're going to print out, print, open bracket, the number is zero or less, close quotes, close brackets. Okay, now let's save this and we'll check it out working. So it's python3 toot4.py and we get please enter a number. So let's enter in five again and we get the number is greater than zero. Now we run it again and we type in negative five we get the number is zero or less because it's not greater than zero. So we go result to the else and the else will print out the number is zero or less. Okay. We can also combine the else with another if, creating an l if statement. So as you can see here, we've got the if expression, we're going to do something else if the expression, we're going to do something different, else we'll do this instead. Okay, so let's edit our code and combine an else with an if, creating an else if statement. So let's come over and we will create a simple else if. So we're going to edit our current else to the number is zero. So let's remove the or less at the end. Now, before our else if else statement, because that needs to go at the end, we're going to create an else if. So let's do else l if, and then num is less than zero. And then we're going to do our colon to let it know that it's going to indent one. And we're going to indent, and then we're going to print out open bracket the number is less than zero close quotes close brackets okay so now we've got an else if statement as well as our else and we're going to print out the number at the end okay so let's save this so right quit and let's try running it so we'll enter in a positive number again so we'll do six this time the number is greater than zero then we'll run it again this time we'll do zero and we get the number is zero and we run it one more time with a negative, like negative six, we get the number is less than zero. So as you can see, it, we're trying each one of the if statements. Okay. So now let's create a little program to let the user input their own two numbers and then we'll compare them. So the user will input their first number and then a second number then if the first number is greater than the second number, we're going to print out the that the number is greater than the second, and we're going to print out the difference. And we're going to have an else if to check if it's less than, and we'll print, print out the difference and that it was less than. Else, we're going to print out that the numbers are equal. Okay, so let's come back over to Ubuntu here, and we're going to edit our toot4. 
So let's just remove all of our lines except for the first line. So we're going to remove all of our ifs and we're just going to be left with our first num. So we're going to have num and we're going to change the name of our num variable to num1. So please enter the first number. Okay, now let's do our num2 equals int open bracket input open bracket please enter the second number colon space quotes and end with our, both our brackets. Okay, now let's write our if statements. So we're going to do if num1 is greater than num2 colon we're going to indent so if number one is greater than number two then we're going to print open bracket the number is greater than the second oh let's let's change that to the first is greater than the second that might be a bit more readable the first is greater than the second and we'll close off our brackets and we'll do one more print statement and this time we're going to do print open bracket open quotes the difference is space close quotes plus and then we want to get the string of our difference so we do str to get the string open brackets num1 minus num2 two close brackets and then we're going to close brackets again to close the print off so this string function will turn a number into a string so we can print it out okay so let's end our if there so as you can see our block of code there has two print statements in it because they're both indented so let's do l if this time so l if whoop, l if num one is less than num two colon we're going to indent and we're going to print out that the first is less than the second close quotes close brackets and now we're going to do the same as before and print out the difference so print open bracket open quotes the difference is space close quotes plus the string str of num1 minus num2 close brackets and then close brackets again okay so let's do our else colon and we're going to indent one and we're going to print open brackets the numbers are equal and then we're going to close quotes and then close off our print all right so now we've got our ifs our else if and our else statement let's save this and we'll run it so we save it and write it and now we're going to run python3 toot4.py and we get please enter the first number. So let's do 5 as our first number and the second number we'll do 5 again. So this will be our else, the numbers are equal. Let's try running it again. This time we'll make uh, num1 greater than num2. So 7 is greater than 5 and the difference is 2. Okay, so let's run it one more time and this time we'll do if the first number is less than the second number. So let's do 5 is the first number and the second number is 7. And we get the first is less than the second and the difference is minus 2. So as you can see, we're going through again through each of the different ifs to making sure they all work correctly. All right. This concludes our look at selection in Python. Don't fear if you don't remember all of this, you can easily come back and rewatch this video to consolidate all of the information. If you have any questions and you can't find the answer after a quick Google search, feel free to leave them in the comments. Next, we'll be covering functions. Thank you for watching.